Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video from Inside Wire. I've had a number of requests already asking for a video on how to replace your USG and cloud key with the UDM Pro without losing all your configuration and settings. Now, unfortunately, I've already done this at home and I didn't want to undo and redo my whole setup all over again just for the video. So I have something special for you all. I'm going to go through this process of doing the upgrade in a production environment. Just to paint a picture of the environment, we currently have a USG with the Cloud Key Gen 2. There's another Cloud Key within the environment that looks after the CCTVs. As for the network itself, we have the USG connected to a core switch, which is going out to all the access switches. Just for information, a core switch is a high capacity switch, which is located, as you guessed it, at the core of your network. This is a XG16 switch, which has 16 SFP plus ports, which then in turn connect to the access switches, which connect to the end user devices. It's a very simple process, but unfortunately you will need some downtime to do this. I start off by setting up the UDM Pro briefly, however if you want to look at that in more detail I already have another video, the link's appearing on the screen now. Feel free to click it if you want to check it out or have a look at my channel after this video. Just before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. If there's anything else you'd like to see, please drop a note in the comment section below and let's jump straight in. So we've connected the UDM Pro up to the WAN and the LAN port using the existing network. We click next, we give the UDM Pro a name. Just a quick side note, I connected the LAN straight into my computer and the WAN from the existing network. So we can give the UDM Pro a name, wherever the location is, and then what you would do from there is just click agree and click next. Sign into your UI account, so this will give you external access. It will allow you to log in remotely or however you want to be able to access it externally. So we then go on to the update schedule. So this is how up to date you want to provide the latest security updates. So you want this probably going on in the middle of the night, uh, not 2 a.m. I'm going to go with 3 a.m. at the moment and click next and then just check the details that you've got set up and click next. Now it will run off and go and do a speed test. Just a side note, if it doesn't connect to the internet, um, it may say it's not connected, just go off, do a factory reset on your UDM Pro and start again. I've had, it, I've had that problem with a couple of UDM Pros before. Um, so just uh, once you're connected to the internet, just click next. And it, if it comes up with this, just keep trying again, it will do it. It does take a couple of tries sometimes. And there we go, it's running the speed test now. So we'll let that run off, it's gonna go and do a speed test and then it says it's complete, so we just go ahead and click finish. And we just set up the network. So I do have a, a more in-depth video of the UDM Pro as I mentioned earlier, so go off and check that out if you get stuck on this part. So it's going to go off now and do the device upgrade. This sh takes about five minutes or so. And then you just want to refresh the page and you'll find that it comes back with this and you just continue. There we go. So now we can sign into the UDM, de UDM Pro device. So yep, there we go. So we're now, we are in, and you can see we have everything set up in terms of the network, protect, access, talk. We go into the settings, and then we go into advanced. So the first thing I would say is config SSH. Get that done just in case you need access to it and something drastically goes wrong, you're gonna wanna get onto it via SSH. So just set a password, just click confirm. And there we go, we can go back to the center now. And now I wanna to go to my existing network and I wanna grab my config file. Um, so yeah, not quite here. Um, need to go to network.ui, net, network.unify.ui.com. And then we find the right one we need and launch using the cloud. So once we go into here, uh, we'll give that a second to load up. Um, you can actually go down to your settings. 
uh, go down to the bottom to um, controller settings and not advanced configuration you want to go to backup and then you scroll down slightly and grab your latest settings so I've had to blur this out just for the information on the screen but once you see it on your machine you'll you'll get a rough idea if you don't have any backups there are a setting there is a settings only download at the top of the page if you don't have any backups and if you don't have any backups I suggest you set them up okay now that that's downloaded we can I just want to quickly show you the devices just to show you what we've got set up on the network so there are some offline devices at the moment but there are some there as well and then you go back to the UDM Pro um, you would go back to the backup section and then there is a restore from backup so once you have your backup downloaded you would choose your backup it's a UNF file click open and it will go off and it will say do you want to restore from this backup you're gonna say yes I do and then it will go off and do that and now we just need to give it a few minutes while it does that just a side note while it is doing this if you do come across an older network version so I had 5.0.32 on my network controller and 5.0.22 on my UDM Pro you will need to update your network controller um, to match the versions um, otherwise you will get an error saying not able to upgrade uh, due to an older version or something along those lines so this is going to go off now do an update and it's going to restart the system for you it's actually going to pick up the IP address of your USG as well um, that was set originally Like I said, this only takes a few minutes. If it does, uh, if it does take a little bit longer, just hit the refresh button and just make sure you're back online. Um, I think that's what I do towards the end of this bit. So just refresh, and there you go. You can see that's back up and running now. There you go. I've got the network. And if I go to devices now, you can actually see. Um, that my devices are all showing as disconnected or adoption failed and you're probably thinking at this point oh no um, what's happened here but what you actually need to do now is go over and swap your cables put your LAN into your LAN connection and your WAN into your WAN connection and disconnect your old cloud key so that's what I did at this point I disconnected my old uh, the old cloud key uh, refresh the page and actually you'll start seeing some of these devices coming online so you can see the um, it's attempting to adopt now so uh, it's going to provision and then attempt to adopt and you'll see over time over a space of a few minutes um, these will all slowly start adopting and, and provisioning themselves if your devices are offline don't worry when you plug them back in um, they will reprovision onto the new network because it's taken your settings from your old um, cloud key but we'll just give that a minute while this um, gets up to date And there you go that is literally as simple as that um, you just might uh, back up the file restore it put it on your UDM Pro and your devices automatically readopt themselves you've got all your settings and you've got nothing else to worry about so the process itself is very straightforward replacing the USG and cloud key with the UDM Pro it is just a case of backing up the config file from the USG for the network controller and restoring it to the UDM Pro. Then moving the cables over just to make sure you have a WAN and LAN connection. One thing to note is to ensure the versions match up of the network controller to do a successful restore as you cannot restore back to an earlier version. I hope you found this informative and useful. I have some other videos on Ubiquiti on my page so feel free to check them out. Again, please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and share with your family and friends. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.